in order to play PlayStation and games on your iPhone or iPad, let's start by opening up the App Store. You are then going to search for Gamma Game Emulator and just install Gamma Game Emulator. This is completely free. Once we open the Gamma Game Emulator, we first need to import our games and we need to add the Gamma BIOS.bin. So to add your games, just tap the plus on the top right hand side and then select files on the device. So your PlayStation 1 games need to be in .bin format and the BIOS needs to be BIOS.bin. To get these, you need to dump them off of your PlayStation console and dump the games off of your PlayStation 1 game CDs. That is the legal and safe way. Do not check the comment section of this video because there could be links on how to get the unofficial way downloading files from the internet. So don't check the comment section. Don't click any links in the comments. And if you suspect you are committing piracy, just tap the cancel as piracy and downloading games off of the internet, downloading BIOS off of the internet, they are all a crime and you don't want to be caught doing that. When adding your BIOS, make sure you tap on settings, then gamma, then the BIOS.bin and import through here. Don't open in the gamma, otherwise it won't work. And for the games, you can import from your browser or you can just tap the plus and then tap your dot bin to open. Inside of the gamma settings, audio stay silent. I would recommend you turn this one off. This helps with audio problems. If your audio still doesn't work, open your phone settings. And if we swipe up, we get the hidden search and you're gonna search for sound recognition. And if this one is on, you need to turn this one off. Then just close out and reopen the Gamma Emulator. You also have Gamma Sync, and if you tap the sync service, if you turn this on, this will save your saves and your save states to the cloud so that you can play Gamma on multiple devices. This will not save the actual ROM file. You also have Gamma Skins. At the moment, there's only these two skins. You would need to Google Gamma Skins, and there would have to be a website created where you would download the skins and then just tap and then tap the plus and then when the skins are available you can tap them to swap them out. Under controller type you can switch between touchscreen and controller. At the time of recording controllers are not supported they will just crash the emulator. I'll cut this part of the video out if they fix the controllers so if you're hearing this the controllers don't work. When your controller is connected, if you tap on it here, you would then be able to customize each control so you can change the layout of all of the buttons. When we're in a game, you can tap the menu button, you can save state, load state, speed up the game, though this doesn't really work, so I wouldn't use it. 